Hi, this is Dave Farina from CosmosSafari.com. Today's Deep Sky with Dave is something special. Back in late December, my channel passed 1,000 subscribers. But just two months later, now in February, the channel passed 1,500 subscribers. I cannot tell you how much it means to me to have your support. The YouTube community, as well as the greater astronomy community, have been in my corner since day one. And I very much look forward to continuing to bring high quality content in the months and years to come. My Messier Marathon series is designed to provide quick and easy ways to locate, identify, and understand the best deep sky objects to view in your telescope or binoculars. Many times, however, in most real-world circumstances, you would view or image many of these objects in a single night. In today's video, we're going to start to change it up a bit. Rather than covering a single object at a time, I will be helping you to locate two Messier objects, M81, Bode's Galaxy, and M82, the Cigar Galaxy, because quite frankly, you would never view or image one at a time. The reason for this is because they're so insanely close together that you can fit both of them in a single eyepiece or in a single image, even at relatively high focal lengths. To top that off, these objects are visible nearly year round from most northern latitudes. In addition to bringing you high quality videos on how to find deep sky objects, I also want to start to highlight some of the amazing work being done by others in the astronomical community. As you can see in this image by astrophotographer Drew Evans, the region around Bode's galaxy and the Cigar galaxy is chock full of gas and dust when imaged under sufficiently dark skies. Drew took this image from Bortle 4 skies in Flagstaff, Arizona, using his William Optics Space Cat 51 with a ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro with over 10 hours of integration time. Drew recently moved to Flagstaff and is building his dream home in Bortle 2 Skies. Although I admit I'm a bit jealous, I'm excited for Drew and cannot wait to see what he'll be able to accomplish in the years to come. Awesome job, Drew. If you would like to have your astrophotography featured on my channel, leave me a comment below and sign up on my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts to find out more about upcoming videos and share your amazing work with me. M81 Bode's Galaxy, also known as NGC 3031, is a nearly face-on grand design spiral galaxy, while M82, the Cigar Galaxy, also known as NGC 3034, is a nearly edge-on starburst galaxy. Located in the constellation of Ursa Major, the Great Bear, these two galaxies are separated by an angular distance of around half a degree, or approximately the width of the full moon. Both of these galaxies are part of the same group of galaxies at a distance of 12 million light years and are gravitationally bound to one another. In fact, the starburst characteristics of M82, the Cigar Galaxy, are likely due to the gravitational interaction with the neighboring M81, Bode's Galaxy. Both M81 and M82 were first discovered in 1774 by Johann Ellert Bode, for whom the discovery was named after and subsequently rediscovered by Charles Messier in 1779, who proceeded to list both of these objects in the now famous Messier catalog. The brightness and relatively large size of M81 and M82 make them some of the most easily accessible galaxies in the entire sky. But the fact that these two galaxies are so close together is really the icing on the cake. Additionally, the fact that these galaxies are circumpolar objects near the North Celestial Pole makes them a great target year-round for anyone living above 20 degrees north latitude. M81 and M82 are bright enough to be observed with a pair of binoculars or a small telescope. In order to increase the detail and brightness of your image, however, a larger diameter telescope is required. A minimum of an 8-inch telescope will be required to make out the detailed structures of the galaxies when viewing visually, and the phenomenal spiral arms of M81. 
To conduct astrophotography on these objects, a small apochromatic refractor telescope will have no issue providing stunning images of these galaxies due to their large angular size, but additional focal length and aperture is helpful to truly resolve the gorgeous structures found within these two galaxies. My Stellar View SVX-130 at its native focal length of 930 millimeters, paired with my Attic Horizon 2 dedicated astronomy camera, provides a nearly perfect field of view. I find the sweet spot with this galaxy pair is a field of view of around one degree. Longer focal lengths like my eight inch Celestron Schmidt Cassegrain, for example, can be used on these objects individually but the much smaller field of view causes the overall composition of the image to fall short as I feel you lose the majesty of having both of these deep sky objects in the same image. Step one, find a starting asterism or constellation. At my location in the Northeast US, we will start our observation by locating the Big Dipper. Throughout the year, the Big Dipper moves along a circumpolar path around the North Celestial Pole. The point at which these objects are at their highest point, the meridian, appears when the dipper's bowl is completely upside down in the north. Keep in mind that observations of any celestial objects are best viewed or imaged when they are at their highest points in the sky due to the significant decrease in the amount of atmosphere you're observing through. Although very well known, the Big Dipper is actually not one of the officially recognized constellations recognized by the International Astronomical Union, or IAU. The Big Dipper, an asterism, is an unofficial yet very helpful grouping of stars that is part of the larger constellation of Ursa Major, the Great Bear. Step two, find the object using star hopping. In order to locate M81 and M82, we're going to start our observation by finding the Big Dipper asterism in the night sky. The main stars of the Big Dipper are Alcade, Alcor, Mizar, Alioth, Magrez, Thecta, Murak, and Dubai. For this observation, we will only need to locate Thecta and Dubai. First, draw an imaginary line between Thecta and Dubai, which are approximately 10 degrees apart from each other in the sky. This angular distance can be easily measured by using your hand as a basic measuring tool. 10 degrees is approximately the width of your fist held at arm's length. If you have a Telrad finder scope, the angular diameter of the Telrad's reticle is 6 degrees, and therefore Fecta and Dubai are nearly two times the width of the Telrad's reticle. Continue the line you made between Fecta and Dubai, an equal distance past Dubai along this same line, either using your hand or the Telrad to measure the sky as you go. If you are using a Telrad, you may want to keep in mind that the Telrad's reticle is extremely useful when viewing, as each of the lines are equal to one degree increments in the sky for a total diameter of six degrees. So to locate M81 and M82, simply move two Telrad widths distance from Dubai and center yourself on these objects. Step three, move your eye to your magnified finder. At this point, you should have M81, Bode's Galaxy, and M82, the Cigar Galaxy, in your magnified finder scope. In light polluted skies, M81 and M82 should easily be visible in a 50 millimeter or larger finder scope or binoculars. They will appear as a wispy cotton ball-like object. Center M81 and M82 in your finder scope. Step four, move your eye to your widest field eyepiece. Always start your observations at your widest field eyepiece. For this simulation, I've chosen my 100 degree apparent field of view Stellar View Optimus 20 millimeter eyepiece on my Stellar View SVX 130T Premier Apochromatic Triplet Refractor. Center your object in the field of view and slowly work your way down to smaller and smaller focal length eyepieces, centering each one until you get the desired field of view for your setup. Short focal length telescopes and long focal length eyepieces work best on this object due to its very large angular size. Thank you for watching today's episode of Deep Sky with Dave. This is part of my Messier Marathon series of videos in which I plan to go through all 110 Messier objects. If you find this video helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribe to the channel. And click the notification bell if you want to find out each time I upload a new video. 
If you have a different method for finding M81 and M82, want to provide me with feedback on this video, or have suggestions or requests for future videos, or if you have any questions regarding my star hopping techniques, observational astronomy, telescopes, or astrophotography, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you from Dave Farina here at CosmosSafari.com. Clear skies.